guys, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. Today I am joined with a very special guest. This is... Clay. <laughs> Clay. <laughs> you might recognize him from my reading vlogs, but if you don't, his name is Clay. He's my boyfriend. Um, and today we're doing a video together, you know? But before we jump into the details of this video, first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video. Hey friends, this video is sponsored by Book of the Month, which as you know, I have been a long time subscriber and just general fan of this service. But if you're not familiar, Book of the Month is an online book subscription service. And every single month they curate a selection of titles from a variety of different genres, authors, and voices within the bookish universe. The books are always new releases, they're always hardcover, and the monthly cost is $14.99, but you can also add two additional titles at only $9.99 each, and they're sent directly to your door, so it's super convenient. And in the spirit of the holiday season, they also have incredible gift options as well. You can send a subscription to, let's be honest, yourself or a loved one in your life who loves books, a three-month, six-month, and 12-month subscription, with the 12-month offering the best overall discount. I personally love receiving these gifts in the past, and I've really used them a lot to send out to my friends and family that love to read as well. It's super handy and now that it's digital it's incredibly convenient as well. And in honor of the holiday season I'm actually partnering with Book of the Month for a giveaway where I'm giving away two sixth month gift cards to two of my US based viewers. I will have all the rules and details outlined down below but essentially you just have to fill in a bit of information via a Google Doc. The giveaway runs through 1130 so good luck to all the people who are seeking to enter but let's jump back into the video. But of course, again, big shout out to Book of the Month for sponsoring both this giveaway and this video. <clears throat> so Clay and I have been wanting to do a sort of challenge, boyfriend challenge video for a while, but we've kind of been stuck on what we've been wanting to do. In full transparency, I've been a little too terrified to let him completely control my TBR. But there was a new local bookstore that opened up nearby. So Clay actually had the idea to do what? I went out and went to that bookstore and a second bookstore and picked out three books at each. So we're essentially doing a surprise boyfriend picks out my book haul type of video. And he even wrapped them. I cry. But yeah, if it wasn't clear, Clay went out to two bookstores and he picked out six books. I honestly have no idea what they are in any way, shape or form. He had complete and total free reign. I'm really curious to see what he picked. And in fact, before we actually begin the unwrapping, unboxing process. Just through your approach, what were you drawn to? Did you have a game plan going in? Yeah, so obviously Reagan loves fiction. I also have been working across the way from her for a while and we've been listening to a lot of audiobooks, so I know some of her other additional interests outside of fiction. The audiobooks have been less fiction than normal, um, so I know her interests outside of that. Obviously she has a Goodreads, which I could kind of use to verify whether or not she'd read the book before. And then, I mean, I live with this in my house too, so I <laughs> am somewhat familiar with the books she has read. Um, and obviously we talk, she talks about books a lot, and so I, I understand what she likes for the most part. Did you have any like specific genres you were definitely wanting to hit going in, or were you kind of open to anything? Sci-fi fantasy was something I specifically looked at. General fantasy and general fiction mm -hmm. was something I looked at as well. Um, that's what I went in, in mind. But I had nothing in mind specifically to get when I left the home. Got so it. That I didn't know anything I was going to get until I was there. Kind of. Just, you waited to see what was going to call out to mm -hmm. you. I'm yeah. really curious because um, I know you mentioned when you came home that you were also interested in pretty much all of these books yourself. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we can do a buddy read one yeah. day. Like. Yeah. Once I finally learned how to read. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess without further ado, let's dive right in. Pass me over the first book you think you would like me to open, Clay. Let's go with this one. Okay. So I figure we'll just open it on camera and then before we kind of go into the synopsis, we'll obviously give the title, but I really am curious like to know your thought process on like why you picked this book up, but why does this feel like Christmas? This is fun. I, I don't want to damage the book. I didn't take the book anywhere. It's, it's all, the paper is all taped to itself. That was so thoughtful. Oh, wow. Okay, Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. Tell me the thought process behind this one. Are you familiar with this book? I am. I am familiar with this book. You don't own it though. I don't own it. Cool. So for one, the cover just looked really cool. Mm -hmm. So that stood out to me. Um, 
I was trying not to go through staff picks because I felt like they'd be really popular and more likely Reagan has read them and, and not. Mm -hmm. I think this might have been one of the few staff picks I actually did pick. It's a National Book Award finalist. Another thing, part of my search was I checked on Goodreads. I was trying to make sure I didn't grab like a 2.5 or a 3. Yeah. Um, so that kind of stood out to me. I read the back. It seems like it's in the perspective of a wolf or, or several animals tracking down a boy, which seemed like an interesting kind of concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just came out, it stood out to me because it had a high rating on Goodreads. And, yeah. And seemed like the type of stuff Reagan really liked and also. I don't think she had seen this, and there was reviews on the back one, Neil Gaiman, which I know Reagan really likes, and uh, a few other just big things, and then, yeah, in general, it just seemed like an interesting story. For sure. This is one that has been definitely on my radar for a long time. So Marlon James is really um, a very, like, lauded and celebrated author. One of his other novels um, I was also a National Book Award finalist, or perhaps actually won the National Book Award. And this is one of his newer releases. This is a fantasy novel that is African-inspired as well. I hear it's really gruesome. <laughs> like, really? disturbingly, like, gruesome. Like, one of the darkest books that a lot of people have ever read. Um, so I've been kind of like mildly terrified of this, but it's definitely a book I have been wanting to read. So I definitely think it's a good pickup. Plus this is a really nice paperback. Mm -hmm. That was, that was another criteria. If it was a paperback, it had to be a nice paperback. Yeah. Like this is like a really solid paperback. This is a really good pick, Clay. Thank wow. you. Wow. Thank you so much for getting this for me. One for one. One for one. I mean, you're, I'm never going to criticize anything you get to be honest, but this was like in full transparency, like very solid selection. Thank awesome. you very much. Wow, all right. First book, definite win. We love to see it. All right, next book. This also feels like a paperback. I feel like I have to give my like childhood self a chance to guess at what things might be. It's a book. It's a book, everyone. Um, oh, is it a hardback? I can't even tell. I don't think so. I think it's a paperback. It's, it's too paperback. squishy. I think okay. I have three hardbacks and three paperbacks. Ooh, a selection. Okay, we open it up. What is this? I have never heard of this. Oh, it's, it's upside wolf. down. Oh, it's wool. Oh my god, I have heard of this. You have? I have never right. read it though. This is a series. Yes. Thanks. So this is wool. I love these new covers by Hugh Howley. Um, you talk us through what interest you about this book. Yeah. So the reason why I picked this book is for one, I know Reagan loves series. It came out as interesting. I, so in order to not say this over and over again, I think I checked this on Goodreads and was right yeah. before. So I knew it was a probably good series and I didn't want to get it started on a book. That, and I think every book after this actually has a higher rating. Yeah. Um, so it's a series that gets better and better. Uh, New York Times bestseller popped out to me. I liked the cover. I thought it was cool. It is a cool cover. Um, I know that she typically doesn't do paperbacks, but I, if it was going to be a series, I wanted to make sure it was like a good looking series that would land on her bookshelf. And the book's about post-apocalyptic survival stuff. Mm -hmm. Sounds like kind of the type of stuff Reagan likes. Maybe a little darker than you normally do, but... I love a post-apocalyptic story. Mm -hmm. Is it a detective story? I think it's like an element of a mystery. It, it follows a man in part who's like part of the law he's like a sheriff might be like not completely completely post-apocalyptic more dystopian yeah it's like the end of the world and how people live underground and like a silo and how people get punished is that they're released outside it kind of gives me like fallout vibes i was gonna say that <laughs> yeah. especially with the sheriffs yeah so i don't know it sounds really interesting this is a book i owned like freshman year of college but i never read and i was intimidated by it so it's funny that it's full circle arrive back into my hands. And I have to say, these covers are really nice as well. And this is definitely a series that's always called out to me. Post-apocalyptic, mystery, end of the world vibes I'm always here for, especially I feel like 2020 is delivering that in spades. <laughs> so yeah, this is a sol an excellent selection, Clay. Two for two, for real. Two, two for two. two. Two for two. All right. So this one, book I, three. This one I think is my most likely chance to have a hit and a miss. Really? Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Yes. So this is my biggest, my biggest game. Your question mark. And I think you'll know this book when you. And it. it's a hardback. It is a hardback. So you splurged on a gamble. I like that. Risky. <laughs> this wrapping paper is cute. I'm such a more aggressive paper unwrapper. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still want to hurt the books. You said that's not picking it. them I out. I wrapped it. Very expertly. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my god! 
gosh, Clay, coming through with the new sci-fi releases. Oh my. The title really fast. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Christopher Paolini wrote Aragon. Yeah, Aragon. is that what drew you to it? That was what drew me to it. And that was like a big new release in yeah. the center place, and I can't remember which story about it. It seemed like something Reagan would really like. Yes, yeah, so, so and I think it's more adult. Exactly. Than, than uh, I was. We were talking about this yesterday, and I. She was like, "What'd you get me?" And I was like, "I." Th she. She was like, "Did you get any uh, YA?" And I was like, "I think I may have," but I, at the time, I wasn't entirely sure if that was adult or YA. Yeah. So, so this is adult. So this is Christopher Paolini's like return to books kind of thing like it's a new first book and a sci-fi epic obviously he is really well known for Aragon which I've actually never read which oh, I really? think is surprising, that is surprising. Um, and I probably should read it but I know that's a lot of people's like introduction to fantasy one of the most well-loved beloved you know children's fantasy series this is his sci-fi novel and I've heard good things about it I've been really curious about this book because of the notoriety of the author and I hear it's like a really intense, like full of world building, which if I'm gonna read sci-fi, I love really big sci-fi with lots of world building, obviously. Really big. Yeah. The space holds countless secrets. She just found one, the deadliest, deadliest one. one. I don't even really know what this is about, but I'm assuming it is... It's like a per people to go on missions in space. Yeah. I did not read too much into it. I would say this is the book I probably know the least about. You were just kind of like drawn to the author and the mm -hmm. title. I'm like delighted you picked this up because this is a book I've been like wanting to buy and I've been really curious to buy and just for some reason haven't because I've just there's just so much buzz around it. So this is very exciting. Yeah, like war erupts among the stars, people are on survey missions, people are drawn in, unexpected things result, blah blah blah, explodes from there. So, oh my god, I'm so happy to have this. <laughs> it's also so pretty. Look at that spine. Oh my gosh, Clay, thank you. Even if this was the risk, if this was the risk, you are, you're killing it for this video There's right one now. one more risky one. Ooh, I like it. Let's see how it pays off. All right, well, this is book number three, and I'm so jazzed about it. All right, so this book, Reagan had a chance to guess yesterday, and I told her I would give her no reactions. Yeah? Did I guess it? You guessed a book. Oh my gosh, I know what this is. This is so funny. And this is a book I really want to read. Yeah. It's in a series. It's a very famous series. Okay, wait. Okay. This is so funny. I... It's Dune by Frank Herbert. Because you mentioned that he like was wanting to look in sci-fi. And I was like, I wonder if he bought me Dune. He was like, do you have any guesses? I was like, if I had to guess Dune because the movie's coming out with um, Timothy Chalamet. And this is obviously a super famous sci-fi series that also got new covers that are beautiful. So I was I was wondering if you picked this up and I was kind of hoping because I've never read Dune which is also embarrassing. My sci-fi reading and knowledge is like not as great as I would like it to be but talk us through why you picked this up. Sorry I got so excited about it. I want to know why you wanted to get it. But it's a classic. Everyone yeah. knows it. There's no risk in getting a bad book with Dune. Um, with the new movies coming out I think everyone's going to be more interested in uh -huh. it. I personally myself want to read this. So, yeah. Um, seems like something right up my alley. It's very popular in books and fiction and fantasy and so I, I I was very familiar with this book when I grabbed it and when I saw it I was like this is gonna be the book that I get that's like everyone knows it. Yeah for sure. Um, and the covers are really cool. Yeah I and, love the cover redesigns. And the series throughout is really cool looking mm -hmm. for the covers. If you're not familiar this is a sci-fi classic I would say like true classic like within the genre itself kind of like Lord of the Rings version but for sci-fi and this essentially follows our main character Paul who is supposed to become like his family's great ambition to bring the fruition of humankind's most ancient and unattainable dream so I think it blends mysticism and adventure and I think there's like an environmentalism aspect of this story as well given the desert setting but yeah, definitely a classic I have been dying to read. I've never owned a copy of Dune, and now this is extra special thanks to Clay grabbing it. Oh my god, this would be fun to read together before the new movie comes out. Yeah. Which looks which keeps, so keeps cool. Delayed. I know, I mean. More time to read the book. <laughs> Alright, book five. This is the really heavy one. Oh, the, yeah, when he was like handing me all the books yesterday, I wish I could describe to you how was like dense this novel feels. It's like it's significantly heavier than other books within this size. I have no idea what this is. Like maybe the Bible like, <laughs> compressed. Like it has to have so many pages. All right, let's get this guy open. It's so heavy. It's so intrigued. Oh my God. It is a hefty book. 
boy. This is so good. Okay, amazing. A Promise Land by Barack Obama. Very, very relevant new release, Clay. We listened to Becoming yes. on audiobook, so I knew this would be something she's interested in. Honestly, I was like, maybe I shouldn't get this because there'll be an audiobook with Barack going through it, which might be better because he just says that. We can listen voice. and read along. <laughs> this is nice to own. I'm happy to support uh, bookstores and Barack Obama's new book release. Um, no wonder it's so heavy. This book is like almost 800 pages long, <laughs> which makes sense. I knew it was really long and that makes so much sense. This is so nice. I don't own a lot of physical memoirs, but I've been listening to so many of them this year and I've been really getting into them. So this is really, really thoughtful. Thank you, Clay. I picked this book because we listened to Becoming and that was, you know, a, a really good experience. Michelle Obama had a really interesting life. Barack Obama is very uh, well known already for his other books he's written. Obviously he's president, so he's well known. <laughs> um, you might have heard of him before. <laughs> but, uh, I've always liked listening to him speak and I'm sure this this is a book I'm definitely interested in reading myself. Yeah, and I feel like it's a good one to just own because it's, I don't, the back photo is so cool too. Him, his silhouette looking out onto um, Washington DC, but uh, we'll definitely have to get the audiobook too and listen to it while we're working. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this is going to be excellent. In Michelle's book, she like talks some aspects of his childhood and life and they were fascinating. And then obviously I'm really interested to know about the presidency and the election mm -hmm. and everything like that. It's, yeah, definitely a presidential memoir, so thrilled to have this. Great pick, Clay. Thank Great you. pick. Five for five. Five for five. You're honestly batting 1,000 right now. All right, we're on to our last book. This was so fun. I have to say really fast before we go into it, this has been such an interesting experience. So obviously, like, me sitting so close to books and reading and reviewing so many things, I feel like inherently and a lot of you guys too we just kind of like know a lot of the books that are coming out but clay obviously knows a lot and you know loves entertainment but it's really cool to see kind of the things that he pulls without prompt about like what is interesting to you it's been really interesting and i love to see the intersects because like so many of these books i've been wanting to get or to read so you're doing such a good job i'm the best <laughs> he's not wrong so we went to the last book is there Ooh. Hardback too. Yeah, hardback. It's a lighter hardback though, not quite as dense as the mama's book. The Mercies. You familiar with this? No. So the book is The Mercies, and I do see a quote by Madeline Miller, so I'm assuming this is a Greek retelling, but tell me about it. I don't know if it's a Greek retelling. I don't think it is though. Oh, okay. So the, the story is about some women live in this Norwegian town and there's a major accident and all the men in their town die. Okay. And this is in like the 1600s mm -hmm. and they're living in this town, these women, it's written by a woman as well. Yeah. They're living in this town, kind of self-sufficient and then these people, these Scotsmen come from out of town and kind of try to run things and it's definitely about like the women's struggle against the men. And, yeah. Um, Do they kill them? Seem to, I have no idea. So it's just, this, is, this book's fiction but I don't think it's mm -hmm. fantasy. I okay. don't think there's any elements of uh, like historical fiction. I think this is more like a historical fiction doesn't have any elements of fantasy or magic or anything like that. Um, but it just seemed like a really interesting story. It does. Maybe not exactly what Reagan typically no, reads, I... but seemed like a, a cool story. I, one, well, really love the cover. I think this sounds cool. I thought it was a Greek retelling. I mean, the hair and then the Madeline Miller quote, but the fact that this is some sort of like small Norwegian fishing town in the 1600s definitely intrigues me. Inspired by a real event. So yeah, this has, this is probably like survival, witch trials, and then, wow, this actually sounds incredibly intriguing. Is this a new release too? I think so. This does appear to have incredible imagery and writing and like atmosphere. I've read a book set in Iceland also about a woman being executed for perceived witch trials and I really liked it. It's called Burial Rites. It had this like deeply cold setting and like almost this barren quality to it that was completely captivating and I feel like this might have some similar vibes in like a remote fishing village in Norway. Women trying to be self-sufficient but then this sort of other force when another country comes in and trying to control them. Wow, this is definitely like a out, like a surprise select, but it's so cool. And I definitely love historical fiction, particularly ones that kind of have like a, like a dark, inspired by real events, kind of an unusual tale. So I think this was a strong choice, a strong selection, and one that I feel like I would be interested in if I saw in a bookstore too. So truly excellent job, Clay. Six for six. <laughs> All right, quick round of applause from me for Clay's selections and his surprise book haul to me. I am 
truly thrilled and just absolutely excited by these selections and I'm really looking forward to reading them and then we could maybe read them together Great. which should be fun too. Anyway, sorry it's so dark, it's a gloomy winter day, but we wanted to film this and get it out as quickly as possible. But I hope you enjoyed. Big shout out to Clay again for being such a trooper and doing all the book shopping and selecting these books. I'm very eternally grateful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.